Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel guys. The last collective read I did, it goes, why me? This person's in victim mode. So I want to see if we can get any other information concerning your soulmate and separation. Why do they feel, why me, why me? Why me, why me? What's going on here, spirit, for the why me? What's going on in their life where they're feeling like the victim guys thank you so much for being here we're in the middle of a storm so i want to get through this as quick as possible in case i lose my power again so this person is doing why me hmm well you gave them good advice hmm Yeah, so what the hell? S something going on here. Everything they do has the opposite effect. They're vengeful and they're getting others to do their dirty work or they feel like they're always getting stuck with doing the dirty work of others. It's counterproductive. Everything they do has an opposite effect. Maybe they're under judgment. <laughs> they have absolutely no idea what they're doing. They said that they're forgiving, but some they're still resentful. Hmm. Crying wolf. So someone is spreading lies because they're intimidated and insecure and this person feels like they're always doing the dirty work for everyone else the energy that they're with is sucking the life force out of them everything they do is counterproductive so it's like they feel they're being like the victim why me because of the person that they're with they they feel like a sucker they fall for anybody everybody's lies Talking shit. So this karmic got them in some kind of trouble. Because the karmic is the one who's stuck. Um, you see right through this person's BS, whoever they're dealing with. You see right through them. <laughs> Unhappily married by wanting to fix things. But is it worth it? Playing games. So they broke a lot of hearts. And now they're like unsatisfied with what they have. And they're like, poor me. They feel like they're cleaning up uh, the karmic's um, dirty work. Like everything they do is counterproductive. They'll go and do something or assist somebody. And then they're talked about and, and it's like, they're never good enough for this karmic. The life blood is being sucked out of them. All the karmic's problems, burdens, baggage, they stick with this person. 
to solve all their problems for them. They create the problems your person feels they got to go around uh, cleaning, be the after cleanup guy or gal. And here you are over here. I mean, you gave them wise advice. You tried to steer them in the right direction, but maybe they're a know-it-all. They feel stupid. They feel like they're not smart enough. They feel foolish for believing everybody's lies. Why do they feel the poor me? <laughs> some kind of F buddy that they had did some kind of cyber bullying. Maybe they bullied you. Maybe they made up a story that they were being bullied. Um, and they're cleaning up. They're like... They're holding a grudge, okay? Because you ghosted them or something. Or someone they ghosted was holding a grudge against them. They've broken many hearts. Maybe the person they're with is a heartbreaker. And maybe your person ghosted you for this other lover. And they're like, yeah, they were being chasing this person. person's tripping on you. See, so they were always partying, giving money. Marriage for money. Told you. Clout hungry. Bad karma. That's why they're, <laughs> they're trying to ignore all these karmic friends that are stalking. This person is tripping on you because they want you back. They're a wolf in sheep's clothing. So the karmic that they went to put them in a love triangle and created a whole bunch of bullshit for them in their life. So everything they attempted to do, it's coming back on them. And this person wants you back. And they're feeling like, poor me, why does everything bad happen to me? They feel like they're getting a lot of bad luck. The, the karma could be, somebody could be going to jail, okay? Caught a case, a legal case, repos, whatever, paying for people's car issues, paying for the crime of somebody else. They feel sorry for themselves because they're getting bad karma. Oh, jeez. So, one of these people that they made an offer to is doing something to retaliate against your person. One of their options is like there could be a physical fight. There could be like going to jail, calling the cops on them, accusing them of stuff. It's like whatever they do, whatever they touch, they can't, they just like, it's bad karma for being a heartbreaker. They could have married for money. You know what I mean? Or someone married them for money. There's a fight, okay? Someone's force, uh, friends. Um. Hmm. Told you, they're going at it, tooth and nail. So the karmic that they went to was in a third party and whoever the karmic was in a third party with is making trouble for your person and it could be legal trouble um cyber bullying and your person feels like they're picking up the pieces of the damage that everybody else has done somehow legally or financially 
Hierophant. <laughs> Going to court. I don't know. Maybe they married this person. Hmm. Pushed you away or whatever to marry for money. I don't know. <laughs> they pushed away the wrong person. That's what they did. Hmm. Hmm. See? When it all costs. It's like... They're in conflict with somebody else from their past. Messages, phone calls. Hmm. Third parties. And one of these third parties wants revenge on your person or someone who the third party is with or divorced from or separated from wants revenge on your person. It doesn't matter what they do. To getting bad karma in all areas. <laughs> Everything was to keep this person from coming toward you. And it could very well be family. Stuck in a family situation. Walking away for... Hmm. <laughs> Saying you're the devil? <laughs> Good luck with that. Married the karmic. Or the karmic was married. Everything is blown up in their face. Oh my God. So the karmic was married or in a serious relationship. And your person could have broke them up. And somebody's holding a grudge against your person. Because they stole the car? Got caught, got caught cheating? Or someone stole their car? This is a repossession of a, a freaking vehicle or a home. Someone stole the car and crashed it. Your person broke somebody's relationship up. And whoever they're dealing with wanted revenge on them. And it's like they stole their vehicle and crashed it. They were on camera or got caught stealing a vehicle. Maybe it's your... <laughs> it's whoever the karmic was dealing with stole a car and crashed it.
Oh, go away. Somebody could, is going to jail for stealing cars. What? Your person's embarrassed or ashamed. Oh my God! Somebody could have crashed it right into the river. Gone off a bridge with it. What the frick? To control. <gasps> so the karmics who one of the third parties, whoever is involved, I don't know, is like love triangles all over the place. It's looking like oh. Somebody stole a car and crashed it deliberately. They stole a car and crashed it. Maybe it was about to get repossessed or something, or the husband or the girlfriend or wife of this person, one of the third parties was going to repossess a vehicle, and they crashed it deliberately. Now, who's left paying for it? They're like, you're not taking my car. I'll crash it first before you take it. Well, they did. Because somebody got rejected and somebody was watching. Your person's depressed. Hmm. Hurt. Say there's like financial disaster here. They could have lost a job or got laid off from a job. Eee, this is oh, holy crap. So your person went to a karmic who is in a relationship with someone else. They wanted vengeance on your person. It's almost like they were either repossessing the karmic's car, the husband, the wife was repossessing a home and a vehicle, and somebody was repossessing the vehicle, and they're like, before you get it, I am going to crash it first. Well, they did. They drove it over a bridge. Did something foolish. Says so financially. Yeah, it's the karmic did something foolish. And your person is like paying for it. They're like breaking up or something. They broke up somebody's marriage. And then the husband or the wife comes and says, Well, fine then, you got some Susie Q or Joe, Joe Blow in your life, they can pay your vehicle payments. This is like, I'm going to repossess the vehicle. I'm not paying. Well, you're screwing around with so-and-so. Somebody repossessed the vehicle. No, they stole the vehicle, drove it off a freaking bridge, and crashed it. There's your vehicle. Somebody got arrested is going to jail. <laughs> oh, because somebody caught the karmic playing around. Who? There's so many karmics here. I don't know who's who at the zoo. Yes, there's too many people involved. You know. Uh. Oh my God. They were being juggled. 
This is all going on at a distance. That's why they're going apart. So I don't know, somebody could have married for money and now they're pissed off and angry. I don't know. They were played, man. Just saying, manipulated, and now they're stressed out and worried because there's a physical altercation. They hurt the wrong person, or they screwed over the wrong person. Someone is holding a grudge against them. And they're caught in the middle of it. And their reputation is squashed like a bug. They feel sorry for themselves because they're like, I was just trying to do the right thing. And now they're all worried about their reputation because they got caught. So if your person went and cheated with somebody, they had a husband or a wife that they cheated with, and now the husband or the wife is pursuing them legally. Well, you want to screw my husband or wife? Great. Pay their vehicle payments for them. You go pay their mortgage for them. You go pay for their finances for them. Stuck your person with the bills. That's why they're heavily burdened. People are talking about it. Oh my God, it's high publicity here. Cyberbullying, people putting shit on the internet, people talking about it. OMG. Your person picked the wrong person to screw with. But it was their choice. <laughs> and this karmic is sitting back greeting it all in self-absorbed taking it all in mm. how about that guys that's why they're going why me why does this shit always happen to me so they went and screwed somebody who had a husband or a wife and that person is the one taking revenge out on them, taking them to court. You pay my bills. You pay my wife's bills. You pay my husband's bills. You can pay for their car. You can pay for their house. I'm out of it. You ain't going to repossess. Maybe they repossess their vehicle, went to court and get money out of your person for, for <laughs> whatever they did suing them for something and they're like gonna go repossess the car so somebody crashed the car drove it off a freaking bridge maybe ran it into the river that's why they're going to court and everybody's talking about it and it's cyberbullying going on and legal actions going on it's because a your person chose to screw around with someone who was married. I guess the husband or wife didn't appreciate it. Hmm? That's what's going on. Now your person wants you back. You're sitting over here all unbothered. You don't even know what's going on over here. <laughs> your person could be Carlos. Somebody could have gotten their vehicle repossessed. But before they could repossess it, somebody got behind the wheel of a car, drove it over some embankment or something to crash the car. You're, no, I ain't giving it to you. I'd rather, I'd rather it be crashed than I give it to you. Mercy. Hmm. What it is. Take care, everyone. <laughs>